What's going on guys? Vic PB back with another Game Case Arcades video and well we got another bar top. Check it out. Morris's 22 inch custom bar top game room solutions and Ryan hooked it up. He gave us the newer bar top on this one. So you guys might remember that maybe in a couple videos in the past I mentioned the customer named Morris. Morris came by, bought an arcade one up for me and he traded me his arcade one up for mine. Yada, yada, yada. He all of a sudden decided that he wanted to do a bar top. So here it is, guys. We are doing Morris's bar top. 22 inch, custom made graphics from Game Room Solutions. Ryan at Game Room Solutions, killing it as always. And I'm pretty excited because Ryan just posted a video of his newer bar top. And we got it. On this build, we have the newer bar top on this one. We're going to take a close look at this one. Let's check it out. All the little new features that Ryan added to this bar top. Oh, the back, guys. I wish I showed the box with the logo, but you know, it came from Game Room Solutions, Ryan Game Room Solutions. Again, he just posted a video, maybe about maybe two weeks ago, of his new kind of cabinet design. Really cool. I was very excited when my customer, Morris, I sent him to the website and I told him, listen, buy it from Game Room Solutions. You pick your artwork, whatever art artwork you want. This looks like it is a artwork from actual Ryan himself probably from the website itself he's even got the bezel on this the TV I have to adjust this is a 22 inch Asus monitor um, I might be able to drop it so we could hide the logo but pretty nice bezels on this really cool to see um, basically really the only new addition that I believe that I see is this right here new marquee holders really like the, the new way for the marquee to sit basically CNC slotted let me see if I can focus. There it is. CNC slotted two pieces of plexiglass. This piece of plexiglass could be removed. And again, basically right now what's going to hold this in place is the T-molding. I love it. I think it's a great idea. No more with those jank L brackets. Um, although, yes, L brackets are traditional, you know, real ways to hold marquees. But I really, really like the way this looks. Possibly also maybe the marquee might be a little bit bigger. Um, it looks a little bit taller. Um, in the back, it looks like I have actually room to actually work with the speakers. Possibly a little bit bigger. This again right now, marquee from Game Room Solutions, Star Wars themed on this force powered arcade. Really cool. My only little downside, it's just the artwork though, but um, the bezel, I'm not too sure what, uh, I hope I put it in the right way. <laughs> to be honest, I believe I did because I noticed the red to the red. Um, and then kind of this blue to here. Um, I believe this is the right way to do the bezel. It would have been the other way, but this blue streak would have looked weird in the corner. Um, that's my only little thing that I noticed is that uh, the bezel, I kind of took a, a shot. I believe it's that though. But other than that, we got Darth Vader on this side. We got Yoda on this side. Really cool cabinet. Again, that's really the only real difference I see so far. Um, he does have now... It is actually pretty cool because Morris did buy the stand. He does have the stand. He's going to build that at home. They actually have the four access points right here to bolt the stand into place. Again, on this build, we I personally never done it. Um, I've done my hyperspin builds, but I never put it inside an actual bar top. Um, possibly looking at putting possibly a Dell Optiplex in this one. Hyperspin themed, five terabyte hard drive. We're doing everything, Xbox 360 controllers. I'm doing it all, really cool. And basically pretty excited on this one. My only little downside is um, Ryan does give you the artwork. So this artwork is really set for a pie. So for example, we got exit mode menu play. I mean, really, I usually do exit load and save, which is fine. I mean, it's just a word, but it's just, it's printed on the artwork. Um, that's why usually I, when I made my, my custom one for um, Antonio's Arcade, I put my own words to it. But again, great quality stuff. MDF board. This one, again, I, I state this in other videos, but notice, zero nicks. Zero nicks whatsoever because of the artwork. Artwork will always hide any nicks. We have black team molding. Ryan gives you that from Game Room Solutions. Again, this is why I urge all my customers to get the artwork because you do not see the Knicks. Take a look at my past videos on bar tops. You've seen Knicks here. You've seen Knicks here. On this right here, there are no Knicks. Let me actually see. No, there's no Knicks on this. I'm just trying to see here. I do have something here. 
but it looks like the artwork covered it. See, that looked like a little nick, but the artwork is covering it. There you have it, guys. Morris's build. We're going to test it out. Before I continue, we are going to test out um, a speaker setup. Uh, his RK went up. He kind of said that it is loud, but it's not loud enough. So, Morris, we're going to check that out real quick today, and we're going to measure to see if we could fit a Optiplex inside of this to make this the first bar top with a PC inside. 